Hi, this is uh, Dr. Nirmal Basu. I am here before you to give you a presentation. Any human being will be impacted and I am very sure this will create a lasting impression. And particularly if you are a Christian, Muslim, Hindu and a Buddhist and even more particularly if you are from Sri Lanka, your face will wear a smile. You will feel, see the dawn and light at the end of the tunnel. Let me make a presentation. I will be a little fast because this is only to sensitize you I am doing this. If you want to know in detail, there are so many options available including this one you are seeing. You can always pass and see as a DVD or YouTube picture from internet or uh, you can download the PBT website and see it leisurely. Uh, so this is about um, I told you it's available in so many formats. Let us see first this is the main disclosure. We want to call Sri Lanka as the world's biggest and world record genocide industry of killing Christians, Muslims, Hindus, human rights activists, press persons, writers, journalists, foreign aid agencies, officers, workers, political opponents, honest government, officers and teachers. You know, uh, the human beings always good in segregation. Uh, we are considered to be expert in waste management. We do segregation as compostable, recyclable waste. But Sri Lankan government perhaps the best in the world in doing segregation. The segregated people in the name of the religion and you see eight categories and they killed, given punishment to them. And I, so I told you, I repeat again, the world biggest and world record genocide industry. It's all proved. You can, we are given the proof and you can make your own research. It's a hell. Hell on earth. You can see the man, the hell, what's happening here. Person put, is putting in the a drum with full of boiling oil. So that the 36 disclosures, you know. You, but we wanted to see at least a few of them. If not everything, the main disclosure now you are seeing in English will be followed by main disclosure exclusively for Christians, Muslims, and Hindus. So this is all the main disclosure. There also main disclosure of what you call systematic killing of human rights activists, press persons, writers, journalists, foreign aid agencies, officers and workers, political opponents, honest government officers, teachers. And uh, there are some more presentations left to your interest. Myanmar, Sri Lanka, the undercurrent against Muslims and Christians. You must see that. As you know, you have Catholics, Protestants, and you have uh, Sunnisia. So, same in Buddha, they belong to the same denomination of Buddhism and sub-denomination. They have a sister country relationship on many things. But we understood there is, there is a collaboration for eliminating religious minorities in both the countries. Ira Hindus are most, more Hindus than most of the Indian Hindus. Why we say specifically uh, due to two people, sets of people, the wrong impression has been created about the Sri Lankan Tamil Hindus. For example, those who support them, they are very good, sincere, but they happen to be atheists. They don't believe in God. And they use the platform also anti-Hindu and anti-God speeches. So people have come to understand, uh, believe that Sri Lankan Tamils also are atheists. But we know the best Hindus are the Sri Lankan Hira Hindus. So this one we are proving, we request all the Sri Lankan Hira Hindus, wherever you are. You please send to Government of India, the temples you have constructed, uh, you are all tem the, the temples your various religious uh, rituals, please explain, because I have traveled many nations, I have not seen people like you who are so sincere in religion, now that time has changed, the government ruled, it has, you know, it is very attached to Hindu religion, and Narendra Modi is creating ripples, and it's appreciated everywhere, and it's time now, you come with your original identity, I, I mean the particular Hindus, but also Muslim Christians. I see in him, he is after all from the country, uh, state of uh, Mahatma Gandhi and uh, Allahabai Patel. He will be very fatherly, I assure you. But all of you make an appeal to him, uh, create a record, the temples. Because I know the, the, the Jaffna Tamils, whichever town they migrate abroad, first thing they do to get a house, then they consider, start considering a temple. I feel this is the only section of the Hindu community in the world, world who exported Hindu religion throughout the world. Uh, there are uh, very rough estimation of from 400 to 600 temples are constructed a matter of exactly 10 years period. I think this government, central government should not believe others. Okay, other section of people are called opinion makers in India. They, they are the mouthpieces of the Sri Lankan government. They have been telling a lie continuously and consistently that people all took arms, they were killed. I want to tell you friends, even America, nobody, everybody doesn't have a gun. 
it's all false people are called to come on a particular place in a particular day they were all killed and they were all innocent villages children hindu muslim christian children women are all killed you are going to see that so tamil is the only solution and uh, the land belongs to whom originally actually it belonged to the tamil hindus it's been proved and uh, the the, the singlis came subsequently it was admitted by singlis themselves they came there and kachatiu uh, the greatest betray with the central government to the indian christian muslim and hindu fisherman they donated a land belong to ramnadapuram belong to tamil nadu without even consulting us surrender of statehood of malayaga tamilar by shastri prime minister shastri uh, the the tamils who are leaving as state workers for 500 uh, you know 500 years they are all been they been made stateless so the solution today lies with two people i believe the sort all our friends believe tamil nadu cm honorable cm uh, purushitali amma and the prime minister narendra modi ji the right time has come the right time the right ideas have come now for the people to take the idea to the two people you just go to the two people and appeal to them you will you will have definitely smile on your face so important message i want to do it at very beginning that the moment you see this you will be agitated against one section of the world population called singhala buddhist please don't do that ever sake because what you see in singhala is that the minority the organized minority but the unorganized majority are silent the organized minority are if you ask me buddhu bala sena i don't call them buddhist they are buddhist and the jambo ministry government of raja bakshi and brothers the they say about 62 people we identified about 12 whom we are showing here plus the gurdas they only they do that but majority of singular buddhists are true buddhists they are peace living they cry for tamils in fact this uh, this predecessor raja bakshi brothers uh, brother uh, chandriga she told him my children in london cried seeing the killing field she questioned him we are going to see the second important thing is the varying figures even in our presentation because the people give uh, we don't know the but i want to say the people killed the tamils who disappeared uh, you know uh, particularly after the war comes to 146679 it's a very official figure can take it for granted i want to say the other way conversely if you look at it number of widows admitted by government itself comes to 90000 so this figure should be right and uh, gpin so we want to tell the people uh, any person when he sees this actually you have separate presence for hindu muslim christians i appeal to all of you because a person who talks to you is a gandhian i never believe in non violence i believe in non killing i don't kill even mosquitoes you need not be like me but what i want to tell you i am uh, suggesting a leadership style you please follow it so that if you can get into violence you will be caught one day and why you do that don't get into violence you have no right to kill another person however bad he is so the leadership style i am going to tell you gpin as we call indian maharashtrian like that so what is gpin i am going to tell you the g stands for one person who the whom the whole world revere him is is mahatma gandhi one man for who many many, many maximum countries have made statues for whom many, maximum countries should and stamp in his honor is mahatma gandhi i really am proud that i am born in the country where he was born mahatma gandhi very great person because what he did you want to get freedom from the british they had arms ammunition money but he didn't have all those things he had satyagraha he had himself he went on fast and to death he had himself which touched the heart of the british one day they left the country so gandhi is a great leader the message you learn from gandhi is ahimsa non violence never get into violence if you get into violence you will get killed one day by violence this is my advice to you and this is another leader so when gandhi got freedom this is another part of the story is when india got freedom there are 385 kingdoms and samasthanams all the kings and samasthanas we said uh, we are going to revive our kingdoms and samasthanam so that means india will have 385 samasthanam and countries one man again from gujarat patel iron man went and said surrender to india you, you, you know gandhi one leadership style patel another style both style only made india we appreciate both these people i am very proud this are gujarati i am very proud the new prime minister from gujarat gujarat is the biggest gift to india's gujaratis Gujaratis are there everywhere. Gujaratis make the do business successfully, ethically. They bring back money to India. And Gandhi and Patel are the great people. And I must say, Patel has been unsung hero. I am very happy. Narendra Modi ji selected the tallest statue for the tall man, the Iron Man, Patel ji. Then, so here you, you can say any word. You put GPN, it will solve. It's like a you know the password, five-letter word. So I told you about GPIN. 
So whatever a small problem, a big problem, you say GPA and you put it next like a degree. Yeah, and if you put it like that, people ask, what is that? Is it a unique degree? You can say, if you behave well, if you do well, I'm Gandhi. If you don't do well, I'll become Patel. I'll become an Iron Man. People will respect you. So both are good. So Gandhi, uh, the father of India, freedom for um, the country, uh, he got freedom for India, for the British. His kindness, like cotton firmness, P. Patel, the Iron Man of India, united about two, three native kingdoms and samasthanams, toughness like steel and stiffness, hardiness. So, Gandhi was Gandhi, Patel was Patel, but you are both from today, you are both, combination of both, you be kind always, but when you say become tough, I want to tell you, there are 1,000 seven sense ideas like this. You be with us, you work with us, we'll share all those things. So I, I want to tell you, Gandhi was never Gandhi, Patel was never, uh, Gandhi was never Patel, Patel was never Gandhi. From today, you are a GPIN, you are both. So I, I, I told you that you, uh, you, you need to be at the two ends, either this end or that end. The lowest end is Gandhi, highest end is Patel. You cannot go beyond Patel. You can't take arms into hand. That's why we told you GPAN. So Raja Baksa, let us come to a hero of the thing. He's, very, he's been wearing different masks, but people have somehow failed to notice. If you ask me, at the end I'll tell you, I'm not a very great, you know, I reached the highest level of a spiritual, uh, a spiritualism. That's a different matter. But I use some take powerful right brain techniques, which I'm going to share at the end. So mask is very different mask, but he's going without being getting caught. That's a point. So the cat is out of the bag. Whatever you thought, whatever you've been thinking on, what has happened and what's happening is feeling is totally wrong. I, I, I tell it assertively. I want to say the stunning disclosure, but the truth is, you'll see that. And before that, you know, Mullay Vaikal, those people who perished there, kids, Hindu, Christian children, all killed. I bow my head, there's a web, uh, web link. You see that some two children talk, you'll cry. Please see that. I want to say, when I talk about Sri Lanka, I must say about Buddha. I'm very proud. I was born in the nation where Buddha was born. Buddha was born in India, he was born in Hindu, but he was the founder of Buddhism. Buddhism is a world religion. It's a very serious religion to most of the religions. And the entire Southeast Asia, Far East countries follow him. And he taught love. Uh, he taught love. And he said, holding to anger is like grasping a hot coal. With the intent of throwing it someone else, you are the one who gets burned. I think maybe Raja Baksa and the Buddhi, the Abuddhis, Buddha Balasana did not read Buddhism. I want to say that hatred does not cease by hatred, but only by love. This is an eternal rule. Again, Buddha. So let them read this, they will understand. What he says, the sky, there is no distinction of East and West. People create distinctions out of their own minds and then believe them to be true. That's what our... Uh, you know, Raja Bhaksha should have been kind to people. By kindness, you have converted them as Buddhists. He didn't do that. So there are different questions. So here, what we say that it was a titanic religious minority cleansing of Christianity, Islam and Judaism. It's religious cleansing. That is, you see that religion doesn't exist. Second to us, religious persecution, butchering of Christians, Muslims, Hindus. The first point, when I say uh, cleansing, removal of religion, this, this one religious, removing the people, killing of the people, both have happened. I want to say the people, you are not alone. Uh, I want to say you will get your freedom, 100% sure. So you will get it a matter of very short period, only if you do, do your homework well. So I want to tell you, don't worry about 7 .7, uh, 77 million Tamil support, but you will have now, once you see this, you will understand that you will have the 7.7 .7 million world population support with you. Is it not a great news? But two conditions. You, you, you know, this, you just participate in this no-risk, down-to-earth, ex exciting campaign till November 2014. Don't, you know, sharpen your knife, but sharpen your brain. In Tamil, Kati, Aram, Theta, Kodas, Bhutti, Matimai, Theta, Vendu. So great news, Sri Lankan Tamils. You are not alone. The world, world will back you as there is not. You are the lone victim. So the report we are submitting, United Hearts and Organization itself, you will know more about it when you go and see Hindu, Muslim, Christian, about United Hearts. And United Hearts has been made because nations have boundaries, hearts have no boundary. The report we are, sub we are submitted. So the point is, I told you it's not ethnic, just ethnic cleansing, it's religious minority cleansing. The proof is that the very same people affected Hindus holding a placard here, holding a ma massive protest. Muslims are telling. They say that it's a clear, uh, the, uh, the Sri Lankan government enemy of 
Islam and Muslims, they say that here yeah, Christians, which Christians, singular Christians, they say don't kill, kill, kill Christians. They say that on 30th June 2014, this year, the Christian human, their faces, they're singular Christians. All the papers are published. I don't know how the many national leaders have missed it. It has, uh, you know, uh, Gulf News, Headlines Today, Time, Baptist, BBC, all very reliable people press. But you have missed it. All of you have missed it. I blame all of you. But I didn't miss it because this gift is there. The gift is there. The gift has come. BBC World News say 25th March 2013. Top level support for attack on Muslims and Christians. Come on, my dear Christian Muslim nations. Did you not listen to this news? After listening to the news, you have supported Sri Lanka militarily and financially. It is elaborately. Gotabaya Rajabaksa is a different secretary of uh, uh, Magidha Rajabaksa. On 25th March 2013, it has become clear that the BBS has top level support. It is the monks who sub protects our country, religion, and race. Gotabaya said in his speech, no one should doubt this clergy. We are here to give you encouragement. I tell you that uh, defense minister who has a notorious record of killing innocent people, when he said this became a command, the Buddhist monks every day they go in the morning, and they go and attack a church or a mosque, my dear friends. The Christian and Muslims are crying. They don't know what to do. Uh, time, you know, largest sold weekly. It's in the face of Buddhist terror. It's made famous for its pacifism and tolerance. But in several of Asia, Buddhist majority nations, monks are inciting bigotry and violence mostly against these Muslims. So very clear, Time magazine. You know, do you know this magazine? It's a truth. But what happened? This was banned in Myanmar and Sri Lanka. But I want to tell you, I'm also a liar. You know, we are, I want to tell you, I'm backed by lakhs and lakhs of youth. I want to tell you. All this, we've been preparing this for, in silence, we have been doing this. They'll all come out now. They'll all support you. The point is that, very important that, in the law, when you say, IPC 307, read it 311. You have to read two law, two law together, then only get the meaning. Similarly, whenever you think of anything in Sri Lanka, talk about you also read Myanmar. They are both are same. They belong to same subsect, same denomination of Buddhism, everything is same. So you, you must see there's a very common pattern between them, you must understand. You under, if you understand that, you have the answer, because the worst genocide of Muslims occurred only in Myanmar. So here, this ban, Buddhist monks are carrying a placard, Time magazine, banning it, but they don't know. It's come through internet to everybody, through Facebook. We, let us appreciate the Muslims, Sri Lankan Muslims. They have displayed a very big banner in London. Attention, President Rajabakshi, we need justice for brutally attacked mosques, churches, and temples by Buddha Balasana. I really, I, I say, Salaam Alaikum, Muslim brothers, sisters. Salaam Alaikum. And I say, Allah Akbar, you are great. You didn't only say about mass. You are so generous. You have put the Buddhist monks. No one looks like a Buddha, a Buddha saint. So I told you, internally, uh, you know, it's, a, it's attacking Christianity, Islam, and Hinduism, and religious persecution. Externally, it's a kind of a very low, uh, it's a low relationship, a hate relationship. So it's a divide and manipulate. They are friendly with all the nations of Hindus and Muslims, Christians. You know, uh, it's part of Jivan Shastra, how a human being can live as human being. It's being given the Sri Lankan issue, research via internet, Google search, followed by wonder, internet mind Google search, which you learn later of the brains of various characters of role players to find what was are ins inside their minds by 70 years old, 7 cents master Dr. Renewal Basu, officially called by several thousands of youth of various faiths, races, colors, languages, and castes as Papa or Appa. So this is a mind Google, it was originally called Mind Genie, now we call it Mind Google. It's very powerful, you learn it. We'll teach you, we'll teach you, but provided you do your homework, you must get Tamil Idam before November. I'll tell you November, you understand why? How the wearing different masks to different nations was is possible for him. It's a paradox, Raja Bakshi. You look at these diagrams, the one on the, what you call, you can see the one there, you can see this one, you can see this. You are able to figure out something. It's called paradox. This paradox. Here you can see a sign. What does it understand? No stopping. You should not stop. It says the end. Does it stop or end? Same thing is Raja Bakshi. I got a lot of pictures, but one of time I'm not showing that. So what Raja Bakshi? Dual character, a split personality. Here you see he's very egoistic uh, uh, with what you call the local people. He's very arrogant. And with other nations, you know, you look at this man with wearing different masks. So this is very, he kills Christians, Muslims, Hindus, and demolishes churches, mosques, Hindu temples locally, but bow before Christian Muslim nations get arms money from them. Now I'm asking those countries to wake up. I'm telling the Hindu, Muslim, Christian, Sri Lanka, wake up, tell the nations, 
the nations which you know which is ruled by christian muslim hindus to stop it stop them so here i want to tell you that uh, it's internal public relations is he gets money and weapon are used for killing their own religious minorities how is this possible double game raja baksa i want to tell you how he kill people i want you to kindly see if a christian see a christian separate presentation muslim hindu you must see that is because this one a general presentation you must see it differently the chemical cluster bombing has been done against their own tax paying innocent people they have been asked to come to a place and they are bombarded they they were told they will be rehabilitated they have been will be given houses they are all killed and i tell you no country has used chemical cluster bomb they against their own people hindu muslim christians were killed it's not a empty claim but just told by un finds so un report found out report dated 26 2020 april 2002 it says in sri lanka uh, sri lanka guardian has published sri lanka army used cluster phosphorus bombs on civilians where hindus christians lived who were victims so, you know the body all will get burnt they will burn uh, it is very torturous that it should not give to your worst enemies is all i don't want to show just pass on they are burned by phosphorus bombs and uh, there are 2 lakh 80 to 600 uh, muslims population 8% of the sri lankan population they, they should understand something very clear it is very very impossible can you be fr- can you remain live in north pole and south pole at the same time but what he did was he is f- getting all support from all muslim nations also from israel nations the universal law if you get support from israel muslim nation not help if you get support from muslim israel but how is he managing that the question i want to to ask you now the point is unhcr resolution voting pattern i tell you that once this message spreads out nobody will support sri lanka i tell you even the country support will withdraw because they will understand the fate will be same for them which we are you know this we are going to have a voluntary boycott of sri lankan goods so nobody will support uh, so after all the world consists of hindus muslim christians majority and they are the people who buy goods they get, they'll do voluntary boycott of sri lankan goods you can see this is unhrc voting the sad story uh, that the resolution passed but you see look at here the right hand side algeria republic of congo cuba kenya russia venezuela why put all those nations these nations supported sri lanka in the resolution but what they don't know perhaps massacre of christians in sri lanka christian schools were reduced to ashes christian students were massacred killing of christians nearly 28000 including kids which got accelerated of the war christian women were gang raped christian families were wiped out christian priests and nuns were killed as many as about 28 christian nuns and priests were killed uh, 378 churches were demolished there are more than 3000 sacrilegious desecrations of christian divine statues of lord jesus and mother mary blessed sacraments uh, tabernacles including the altars out churches banned single christians got killed and single churches vandalized and uh, you know this again <laughs> sad story muslim countries maldives pakistan saudi arabia united arab emirates i want to tell pakistan pakistan please know it the maximum muslims are from arab which means united arab emirates this muslims called moors next comes pakistan muslims the people are arrest or arrest are pakistani muslims then only third comes malaysia then comes indian muslims so what happened muslims were killed the genocide relationship between myanmar against christian muslims please google for it and we are not showing the pictures here it will be horrifying 33 mosques were vandalized the ancient the shrines were reduced to rubble muslims during prayers attack graffiti on walls showing pictures alal massive campaigns like alal mocking and a ban and and banning parda barka calling parda barka clad muslim man as goni billa which means scary person like your like you know devil devil in a sack arresting muslims protested against demolition of mosque under prevention of terrorist act muslim and writer also under pta there were several sacrilegious and desecrations of uh, muslim divine flags and holy quran you must see the video how they spit and burn quran how they make mockery on quran permission for construction of new mosques are not given so muslims come on it's a wake up call for you india hindu india is a secular country you, you can see on the right hand side we given the what about the christian we are not repeating here what about the muslims so indians what i told earlier it applies to india but let us go to the hindus because india india's majority hindus is in sri lanka hindu schools were reduced to ashes hindu students were massacred killing of hindus nearly 1 lakh 20 20000 i told you of directly the christians the latest information including the kids 90% of them were massacred after the war in the hindu minority cleansing up hindu women are gang raped hindu families are wiped out hindu brahmin priests their family members are killed a brahmin priest try to you know prevent destruction of a lord ganesh idol he was killed 
and then 1070 Hindu temples are demolished, Hindu most sacred Kadirkaman temple was taken away by Buddhists, the lakhs of sacrilegious desecration of Hindu divine god idols, Hindu temples are converted as Buddhist temples. Come on. Now, thank God, I think a, gov a government which believes in Hinduism has come. At this time, I wish to tell, you know, I am 70 years old. I dedicate my life. I resign my bank job. You can Google for my name, know about all my contribution. I founded Exnora and uh, we are the pioneer in waste management. We coined zero waste and all. I want to appeal to Narendra Modi ji. Whatever I say, you don't need to take it, but you uh, investigate yourself. Kindly do that. Appoint a team to investigate about Sri Lankan, the Tamil, Tamil Hindus, the truth, what is that you should know. Unfortunately, they got a bad name uh, because the people who support them in Tamil Nadu, they don't believe in God, they don't believe in Hinduism. And they, many of them consider Hinduism came them to enslave them. And so they don't want to support, support uh, making a mention of the attack on Hinduism and Hindus. They don't do that. And the people, the opinion makers who have been engaged by the Sri Lankan Raja Bakse, you know the name. And they have been carrying a malicious propaganda, come, what do you call lie that people all extremists are killed. Kindly, you are so, uh, you know, you, are big, you know, the point is, we have the highest respect for IAM Ahmed Abad. You, we feel you are better than IAM Ahmed Abad in the sense, the, the kind of management into the parliament is unparalleled in world history. So you have your own way of investigation. These people are telling a lie. These people are telling a lie. The lie they tell repeatedly is that extremists took guns. I'm not going to... Uh, what you call the point of extremists, but the people killed were all kids. They do temple priests, temples. So you must see that. And, uh, and one more thing I want to tell you, because I know you are a very, basically a, a staunch Hindu, but I want to tell you, if at all somebody should be appreciated for taking Hinduism throughout the world, they are the Chafna Tamils. Before that, I want to say, Kumbhakonam is very famous because it has got only 88 temples. Next comes Kanjipuram, 78 temples. Do you know Jaffna has 148 temples? And Jaffna rule is every city should have a temple. Not only Jaffna, all the areas where the Tamil live their temple. I want to tell you, you see whether Gujarat is there, what are institutions they start, we have a big list of institutions which you will see it. Uh, all the institutions will have Hindu name. Any college, Hindu college, Hindu will be there. So they are basically, fundamentally they are Hindu whether uh, people here like it or not, they are Hindus, number one. Number two, they have follow strict rules. They keep it so clean, tidy, the temple. You can't wear with a dress. They have all the religious rituals. Some of the Tamil Hindus committed suicide because the temples were taken converted to Buddhist temples. You know, begin the tree, the ficus tree, you put a temple. They all been removed and Buddha statue, Vinayaka temple, been removed. Everywhere it's been happening. And, but one thing, this... Jaffna Hindus, I told you, there are more Hindus than most of the Indian Hindus. I want to tell you, you will be very proud to know they made Hindu religion a global religion. We are global, I mean, global religion. They have taken, I understand, somewhere about 500 temples were constructed. The figures are varying. We are collecting information. 500 Hindu temples, very beautiful, magnificent temples are constructed throughout the world by the Sri Lankan Hindus. And people said, the moment you, we go to any place, we find a house and then a job, then we construct a temple. And I want to tell you, the refugees were rehabilitating in Chennai. So we construct toilets. One lady said, why don't you give us a Lord Ganesh temple? We, you know, we, we are finding difficulty with the temple. So this is a, I'm conveying you directly this message. Please kindly take care.